hello everyone so welcome back to this channel once again and in this video session i will discuss uh, declaring a global temporary table in ibm i sqdb2 so basically this is a temporary table uh, that we require in any session or uh, in QTEM. so basically if i want to do some temporary work and i want a table for that i can create that in our QTEM library so you while for creating that table using the sql we have a concept of uh, declaring a global temporary variable so using that a table which is temporary gets created in the qtemp library that is in this session no other session can access that uh, there is no entry got generated in the uh, catalog tables for that because that's present in qtemp library uh, once that table is created that is similar to the table which is created using the create table statement so basically we can do anything on that that is insert update delete or select that is crud operation and we can drop that table too if we do not drop that table then in that scenario once the session is sign off uh, the table rows got deleted first and then the dribble got got dropped so if anything which is session specific and we want we only want to access that then uh, we can use this uh, declaring a global temporary table so declare global temporary table statement is used to declare a global temporary table so let me uh, move on to the ibmi so i have opened this jsql session yeah, you can use the ACS as well. So what I'm doing is, uh, let's say I'm declaring, declare global temporary table. I'm going to declare this table. What I'm going to do is, uh, uh, let me have some field, field one car 20. So I just want to keep this field only. So, okay, so I, I didn't mention the name, so that's, let's say that's GT1. So, declare global temporary table GT1 and the field which I want to keep in this table is this. So, GT1 created in QTEM. So by default, this is created in, in the QTIP library. So what I'll do, I'll select the star from GT1. Now I can perform the insert into, I can do any CRUD operation on this. One, let's say A. So we can see, I, I perform the CRUD operation. So that's insert operation. Now, this is the first way to create a global temporary table. The other things which I can use with this one is like, I can use the like clause, I can use the as clause to create a table. So if I, let's say, I have this table, and I want to create the table similar to this, and that's a temporary table. So what I'll do is I'll create a table using the like clause. So you can simply use this declare global temporary table GT1 like PF1. So GT1 is already created. I can use GT2. So table GT2 created in QTEM. Select the star from GT2. So you can see all the things the same as per uh, the pf1 table with no data because we use the like clause now i can use the as clause as well let's say uh, as and here let's say select only amp id from a pf1 where let's say amp ID equals to one. Okay, now I have to specify with data or with no data. So I want data. 
first at all. GT2 is already present there, so let me create GT3. So this is created. GT3 is available with data having employee ID 1. Now I want to create with no data as well. So GT4 also got created. So you can see only MP ID was there with data, and here only MP ID field was there but with no data. So this way I can create a global temporary table. Now um, oh, I can drop it as well, like any other table which is created using using the create table. So let's drop uh, GT4 right now. Okay. Sorry, drop table. So the drop is complete. Let me check work object Q temp slash star all. So we have GT1, GT2, GT3 available here. One more uh, important thing here is I can I can select the table from here. So I can specify the library as well. Let's say QTEM dot that's deleted let's say selecting three one so i can also use qualifying uh, library name as session session dot gt3 so i i want to check this global template table for this session so i can use session dot gt3 or i can qualify with qtemp as well so i saw this so this way uh, we can perform the um, various operations on the global temporary table we can declare that table that is create that table so that's how the concept of declaring global temporary table works in ibm isql gb2 that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time